Well, on the can of TV, we have some special guests tonight. We have Perry Stripling, an old friend of mine and uh, uh, a longtime activist, a freedom fighter for cannabis and people that use cannabis, uh, especially patients, but everybody. Uh, and I'm Dank, your, uh, your host. So uh, the, lower, the, or the Oregon legislature is in session in about the middle of their short, short session. Is it middle or towards, is it getting towards the end? Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's middle-ish there, middle yeah. yeah. And uh, we have a rally tomorrow, which is the 23rd, we'll be reporting on next week, and you might have some footage of that. And uh, yep. we're looking forward to that, and uh, we hope to have a pretty good turnout. People have been really been pushing and talking about it, and so we're trying to get to that number of 300. We want 300 people there. Mm -hmm. uh, Clifford uh, from DPFR is, mm -hmm. is coming in. Oh, bringing Clifford two Spencer? Patients. Oh. Yes, and he's bringing two patients. And so some of these people that I finally I get to see and meet, you know, that I've been communicating <laughs> with or reading their, their uh, posts and uh, never met them before. Right, that's a good thing about uh, these rallies. And we've had a mm -hmm. couple of them here mm -hmm. recently, and there's been decent turnout. Uh, somebody commented there's only 50 at the last one, which I thought was a, a decent number. I mean, mm -hmm. I remember days when we could get a you know, half dozen people there. Mm -hmm. But however many people are there, it's important that they take that opportunity to lobby, to contact their legislators and at least stop by and leave a message with the, their, um, their assistant, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, that's often carries a lot more uh, weight than uh, you know, leaving a sending an email uh, certainly, uh, mm -hmm. or just leaving a message. You know, mm -hmm. and you can also mm -hmm. get feedback from their. Uh, they'll say, "Oh, I don't think they're you know for it because of," or "Yeah, they're with it because they're they had you know experience." So, um, definitely uh, reach out while they're there. You know, we we mm -hmm. hope that happens. Oh yeah. Definitely, uh, and things are turning around. I mean, there are, there are some things going that uh, we we do approve of. Uh, uh, this is in the Register Guard on the February 16th, entitled Three Proposals That Would Alter the Ways in Which Legal Marijuana Is Bought, Sold, and Regulated in Oregon Gain Momentum at the Capitol. This week with relatively minimal debate or discord among par uh, partisan politics policy makers. And by the way, that's the title to the article. Can you believe that? Look at that, how long that is. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> anyway, written by Christina Hansen. And uh, it says, Oregon legislature may be in the midst of a divisive session, but among the few issues Democrats and Republicans seem to agree on is pot. Three proposals that alter the ways in which legal marijuana is bought, sold, and regulated in Oregon gain momentum at the Capitol this week with relatively minimal debate or discord among part partisan policy policymakers, pleasing many industry advocates who had been rallying for the changes. Some of the issues these proposals address were, by contrast, points of dispute just a year ago when lawmakers were laying the groundwork to legalize marijuana. On Tuesday morning, that's tomorrow, House Bill 40, or let's see, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, House Bill 4094, a measure that would exempt banks from state criminal liability for doing business with the marijuana industry, moved to the Senate after, after gaining almost unanimous support in the House by 56 to 3 vote. Financial institutions have been extremely wary to serve the pot industry because cannabis still is illegal under federal law, forcing marijuana businesses to operate on an almost entirely cash business basis. Republican Tobias Reed, Democrat Beaverton, who is sponsoring the proposal, said HB 4094 aims to address at least some of the concerns at the state level. So let's uh, move in the right direction. So yeah, absolutely. Because the dispensaries and them having to deal with cash is uh, dangerous, uh, for one. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway. And uh, there's no good reason for it. You know, they talk about getting it out of the black market. Well, you know, there's no... Uh, better way to keep it in there but by doing nonsense like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, the, even, even the feds of, uh, what's, what's it going on the federal level on, on banks? I can't remember, but. Uh, yeah, there's a bill that was bouncing around. I don't think it's uh, uh, made its way all, all the way through uh, uh, either house. Uh, but at least it's uh, gaining traction, you know, before it was just dismissed out of hand. And, mm -hmm. you know, now we're seeing uh, that bill and a couple of others, uh, as well as the possibility that they'll actually enforce that bill that cut funding for the Justice Department in states that have legalized cannabis. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You know, they were they were just blowing that off. They had a couple of raids up in Washington State, I think, and uh, certainly we're seeing it at a certain level here with these with the hearings. You know, with the uh, implementation of these um, the bills. I mean, we, we didn't see 35 bills like last uh, right. session. You right. know, all of them uh, anti. Mm -hmm. Uh, and in the process, we failed to get the, the good things that we needed done. We should get a fee reduction. We should get the process for adding conditions changed. Um, we should, uh, you know, it, not have those plant limitations. We should, uh, you know, they, we, we just fought to get those, um, those um, that 12 inch rule fixed. And then they go and slap us with, you know, more uh, bad, uh, things that are meant to restrict it and it's all reefer madness based and uh, it's sad that we have to fight this battle again you know that that mm -hmm. cannabis is uh, safe effective uh, medicine as well as um, you know regular folks I mm -hmm. mean it's it's we I don't know how many times we've had to have this argument and prove it that it's safer than alcohol you know right yeah and uh, you know that's why it's bad to have cannabis under the control of the OLCC, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the the poster children for the alcohol industry, you know, the main competitor to, to cannabis. Uh, I'm sure that they've recognized a long time ago that if Joe uh, Six Pack had the option, he'd be spending his recreational dollars mm -hmm. on cannabis instead and having a much safer and better time, you know. But they'd stand to lose hell millions of dollars a day with people make, being able to make that choice. You know? Right. Oh yeah. And so uh, Perry is with the can with the uh, Mercy Centers up in uh, Salem, and so mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to forget to give you some time to speak with anything you'd like right, to bring yeah. up. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Uh, is sure. there anything that you'd like to bring up uh, and talk about, or uh, right? Well, uh, uh, folks, please visit mercycenters.org. And uh, we'll have, uh, we have information up there about these bills that are in play currently. Mm -hmm. uh, also, all kinds of information on um, the committee. If you want to try and, and get your dispensary, what we know about the rules right now, a list of uh, the existing uh, facilities and shops that are happening. And uh, most of all, uh, ways to uh, contact your legislator. Uh, and um, other resources for uh, getting active. We, you know, we help folks uh, to network to shows like here on Eugene's Cannabis TV. Uh, so folks, be sure to you know, find out when the show times are and come on down and help the show happen. Also get involved with other things that are happening in the area. Uh, we're once again looking at having uh, the Hemp Fest here in uh, Eugene. And uh, you know, we could always use folks to help out with that. You know. At the same time, you network with folks that are, you know, in much the same position, and they can, uh, um, you know, help with resources. You know, folks are getting uh, adults can grow now, so uh, you know everybody's learning to uh, get the right clones. Uh, now, some some folks are trying to do mm -hmm. seeds. Right. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. But once you've got a nice crop, the best way is the medicating, and now we're back to the. Uh, teas, and also, be oils, sure to check so out his website also for your uh, events, things coming up, things you yeah. need to know about. I mean, there's a great source for that. So, one place and it's all right there. Right on. Yeah, catch some uh, ep past episodes of Mercy TV that there we have up yeah. on yeah. on the tube there. Sure. Yeah, you bet. That's great. Well, thank you for coming down. I really appreciate it. Excellent. Uh, we're going to be taking a break here, and uh, we come back on our. Uh, on our second second half, and okay. it'll actually be a <laughs> anyway a second segment. Well, so. more good stuff to come. So you, you guys. welcome back to the second segment of the uh, Eugene Cannabis TV show, episode three uh, six hundred and three actually, and special guest Sonny from uh, Port of Salem, also the Mercy Center, uh, and uh, they're got, they're taking care of patients. How many patients are you dealing with on a regular basis? Would you say? Well, you know, bro, we get so many calls on the phone on the website, you know, the numbers mm -hmm. are, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. mean, it's just a constant stream of people. I mean, between what Perry's doing and what I'm doing on the phone and, you know, there are so many people having so many questions and it's not just here in Oregon, it's in all the states in the United States and around the world. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they're all wanting to know about laws, about plants, about conditions, and that's, you know, one of the biggest things. We all need to be making sure to be talking about that cannabis is really good medicine. 
You know, there's so much hype going on in the state of Oregon today about the recreational part of cannabis. Mm -hmm. And that's cool. I mean, don't forget though that cannabis is really good medicine for a big part of our society. Mm -hmm. You know, the medical part. And we have a medical part and we have a recreational part and we have a hemp part. And don't let it be separated. Don't think everybody's like all these different groups. It's all the same group. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's trying to be like they're dividing us. And it's all, we're all us. It's all the same. And everybody keeps forgetting that. And in the process of that, it kind of makes a lot of enemies. Mm -hmm. And Yeah, that's something that we have to keep reminding each other. Uh, we're on the same team, the same side. We're <laughs> so... Uh, but uh, there's some animosity between uh, big time marijuana and a uh, person growing for themselves and a few patients. So uh, there is some divide there, but uh, uh, it's working out pretty well though, all in all, uh, especially with these, some of these bills coming up. Uh, <coughs> Senate Bill 1511, which now moves to the Senate for a vote, is noteworthy because it would interrogate and in integrate the uh, recreational marijuana and medical marijuana systems which are currently governed separately by the Oregon Liquor Commission and Oregon Health Authority respectively. Now that doesn't sound all that good, does it? Well, you know, that's anything that they're saying today could change by the time we get there tomorrow. That's true, and that's very true. This, yeah. is, this yeah. is what's been yeah. going on for, mm -hmm. man, you know, all of these sessions and stuff we've been taping and going down there and doing and you've been down there a lot and been seeing it man they already know i mean it's like them asking they were going to ask for more time mm -hmm. you know to mm -hmm. let this go and they said well we can't make it well no they can't make it because they're doing it to themselves and they're asking us to do unreasonable <coughs> unreasonable things you know i mean here we are patients and under the gun and I mean, we're already sick and broke and just trying to survive. And, you know, it's a quality of life issue. You know, I mean, if you want to break it down to bare bones, that's what it is. You mm -hmm. know, the medicine oh, yeah. is, the yeah. cannabis does quality of life. <clears throat> yeah, that's going to be my third trip to Salem, <clears throat> just in this one short, short session. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm taking out a half a day, uh, more money than I can afford, just in expenses to go up there. And then I go up there, and for instance, the last time, or time for, uh, the first time I went up, I went to testify at the, uh, even signed up to testify, but <clears throat> there were so many people and so little time, I didn't even get to testify. Right. So the only thing I accomplished, well, we, we accomplished some good networking, that's right. for sure. But as far as uh, uh, trying to get something done, it's kind of irritating because I didn't even get to have a time to say my say. And they say, well, submit written testimony. It'd be as much as it's just, it, it, it'd have the same impact. Well, no, I don't think it will. Right. They, I, I, I bet money the majority of them don't even read it. Right. I, I, I'd be really surprised if they really read it. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> we're up there fighting and uh, we don't want to, uh, uh, it's like Madeline Martinez uh, used to say, uh, and I haven't heard her say this, by the way, recently, but she used to say, yes, I want legalization, but not on the backs of the patients, right. which is a good well, point, and yet, and yet I don't hear that anymore. <laughs> how, many, how many times have you heard these guys say, well, we don't want to do anything to the medical program, and then turn right around and do something that they're doing the changes to the medical program? Oh and yeah, yeah. We really need to stay on that as, uh, I mean, that's how we have to stay on it by being aware that this is going on. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not mm -hmm. saying, well, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's right, because it's not, because a, a lot of people are being affected by it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we got so far with our law and we've done so good and we've done so much. And I mean, we take a couple steps forward, take a step back, take a couple, I mean, it's all good. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I, I think people uh, sometimes get discouraged at it, but man, we have such a good law and we're doing so good mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. so many people. And it's like the application, a lot of people still don't know application. I mean, we've had uh, such good results with oil, topical oils. You know, people got so much arthritis and so many things going on mm -hmm. with headaches and migraines mm -hmm. and taking that oil 
and rubbing it on and putting it, you know, just rubbing little fingers of oil on your head and mm -hmm. the going away like that mm -hmm. and no side effects. See, everybody's taking all these pills and getting the terrible side effects. I had a, <coughs> a little scab one time several years ago, oh, probably more than that, five, six years ago. A little kind of a scabby thing right here on my cheek, you know. And <coughs> somebody gave me some, some cannabis salve and I put a couple of applications on it, it softened it up and it seemed to help quite a bit, but it was still there. <coughs> and then somebody gave me a piece of some, uh, they said, this is really high, uh, uh, high concentrate. Gave me one application, I put it on that little sore, and I'm telling you, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I don't know what it was exactly, but, you right. know, it's just, wow, I have, wow, you know, so. Uh, and then we'll have PK up here pretty soon, but PK gave me some uh, some of his tinctures, and, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, it, it definitely helps. It definitely helps. Uh, well, that's the thing, bro. We don't need, we need to keep educating people about yep. these applications. And a lot of people are worried, like in Salem, because they're state workers, that if they get you aid, they'll be showing dirty mm -hmm. for cannabis. It don't show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When they're putting it on topically, it hasn't been showing. Now, you, you, are you into the RSO? Are you, into, because I know it takes a lot, large quantity. So well, we just haven't done it ourselves. No, we okay. haven't done it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's uh, RSO, is Rick Simpson's oil, of highly, highly concentrated, uh, what would you call it? Well, it's a concentrate, oil. and it's an oil, yeah. and depending on, a lot of people are just dosing it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. depending on, a lot of cancer patients mm -hmm. are using it, mm -hmm. and man, they're getting such good results, mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, and that's what started it way back when they started that, and wow, phenomenal results. Mm -hmm phenomenal results. That's what I understand, yeah. I, I understand it, but it takes a lot because it's a very highly concentrated. Right. So it takes some really, really good high quality marijuana and a lot of it. Uh, and uh, it's not something you just start off to. You gotta bring yourself up to the dosage. Uh, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're gonna wrap this up. And so anything last quick last words? Well, thank you so much for all you do here in Eugene. Oh, thank, and, you. Uh, well, thank you what you do in Salem, man. Uh, a hero right here. Uh, MercyCenters.org. Check it out. The information on our website. Especially if you have friends and family in Salem. This is a place to go to uh, get some help and, and uh, guidance and uh, everything else. Well, you know, Dan, it's really good. We like uh, the Hemp Fest. The mm -hmm. Hemp Fest is great. Mm -hmm. Look what we get down the Hemp Fest, everybody come on down and help support the Hemp Fest because it's beautiful. You bet. And now a message from the American Marijuana Growers Association. Hi, I'm a farmer and I work hard every day to grow high quality marijuana, the biggest cash crop in these United States. I'd like to thank you for your support of U.S. marijuana policy. Because marijuana is illegal, I don't have to pay taxes. Even better, prohibition leads to artificially inflated prices, which means a better quality of life for me and my family. As long as I don't get caught. Just as importantly, your tax dollars support thousands of U.S. agents who work tirelessly to keep low-grade foreign marijuana out of our country. So thank you, America. And remember, whether you're nauseated from chemotherapy or just in the mood for a nice cool buzz, choose the best pot in the world, American Homegrown. Welcome to the third segment of the Eugene Cannabis TV show with episode uh, 603. We've got a special guest, well, again, Mercy Sanders up in Port, uh, Salem, and uh, this is PK. P oh, Dan. P P PK, I always... PK. PK, okay, I was right. I was thinking I was. Anyway, and here we have the Oregon Cannabis uh, Connection, which is a newspaper published uh, out of Southern Oregon, and a uh, great paper, and the latest issue has just come out, and uh, at page six, we've got an article, uh, uh, not an article, but a small uh, shout-out for our friend John Walsh. Uh, and so it's Good really person. nice that uh, they uh, wrote, did a little write-up on John. Yes. And, yeah. So uh, you just picked that up? Uh, you, you just got those? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. 
They saw they should be at the dispensaries around town. Mm-hmm. Um, and it has very good articles and recipes to make edibles. Oh, great. Yep. Okay. Great. Another thing mm-hmm. is, I've been going up to the Capitol and filming these hearings. Wow. Okay. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, hopefully they're listening and not going to be affecting the medical marijuana project. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're going to get your card, it'll help you. Um, it'll at least let you grow six plants over four plants. And where you, because you're your personal grower, you won't have to worry about some of the rules and regulations. Right, and also, uh, if you need to buy your medicine, it's a lot cheaper as a patient than it is uh, recreational without the No card. taxes. Right, exactly, no taxes. And so, uh, and <clears throat> the thing about it, we need to support the medical is because uh, of the controls that are in it. Uh, people are really watching on what it's, how it's grown, uh, what's what's in the in the plant, uh, how it's processed, and so uh, a lot of tight controls on that. Uh, in fact, in, in some in some instances, it's not tight enough. They just had a pesticide uh, thing going with a, a product called Guardian, and uh, it had a component that wasn't listed in the ingredients. And so now that's a big stink, and now they're everybody's backing off on anything that was grown with Guardian. So anyway, uh, it's it's being watched. Yeah. So, uh, They're testing all the product of the flowers mm-hmm. that are being brought to the dispensary. Mm-hmm. Pesticides and other things. The, the camel, the, to see if there was any other orga- unorganic chemicals in the feed process. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, it, because the thing is, is I mean, it's bad enough for a normal, healthy person, but when you're a medical patient and then uh, ingest something like that, it, it really causes a major problem. So it's really, really important. Uh, did you uh, have any comments on any of these bills, or did you know anything about them, or anything about your special? Uh, well, there? I've been listening and filming them, and mm-hmm. and all I could tell them after when I give them my hearing is go fly a kite <laughs> right have fun and go fly a kite yeah uh, the last time i went to a hearing uh they we had the hearing room filled uh we had the overflow room was filled and they end up uh had a set up a third area for our, uh, people to watch uh, on closed circuit tv the actual hearings that was how many people were there yeah and then they only gave us one minute to mm-hmm. say Thank you to Dr. Lebeck. Yes. Oh, yes, definitely. The most dangerous man in Oregon. And yes. that's what he used to say. Yeah, that's what the, uh, anyway, yeah, Dr. Lebeck was a definite hero. And <clears throat> this year, uh, we didn't get it done last year. I'm really uh, bummed about it, but we didn't have a decent memorial set up uh, at the Hemp Fest. And this year, I'm gonna, we're going to do it. We're going to re- do it at the base of that cherry tree at the Hemp Fest. We're going to have all this set up for all the people that we've been losing here. Uh, we lost our two Jims, Jim yes. Gregg and uh, Jim Carr. Uh, we lost our friend John Walsh, uh, and uh, it just goes on and on. So we have one more of our friends that we need to honor. And so I'm really looking forward to, to having that. And uh, again, uh, Oregon Cannabis Connection on page six, and read up a little bit on John and, and see his picture. John gathered more signatures. Uh, in the state of Oregon on uh, uh, volunteer initiatives, uh, cannabis initiatives, and anyone in the state. So uh, he, he was uh, a definite hero. And uh, so how, so you, you've been filming, uh, what, and then what do you, you run the films on your show, or what are you doing with the films, or the, the footage, I mean? We're fortunate we have the community station in Salem, and we get to play the entirety of the hearings mm-hmm. on Channel 23. Mm-hmm. 
Um, this is late night. I'm sorry that it doesn't be show, shown down here, but mm -hmm. um, if you look on the internet, you'll see it. Okay. Yeah, and that's uh, <coughs> Eugene Cannabis. I mean, Eugene Cannabis. <laughs> Got my mind right. Uh, that is mercycenters.org. That's yeah. plural, centers with an S. Isn't that right? And uh, uh, check it out. Definitely check it out. And then I have a second show which is called PK's My Garden. Oh, And okay. it's a show from start to finish of... PK's My Garden. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I have my new March issue coming out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. Wow, well, there you go, and uh, that's that's how you learn is uh, all the stuff that's out there, and uh, uh, that's fantastic. Uh, so it's been thirteen years for the hemp festival. Yes, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the two thousand four was the only year we missed. Other than that, we've had a hemp fest every single year. And uh, two thousand six, seven, six, I think it was. We went to a three-day, doing a three-day event, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So this year it's the 15th, the 16th, and 17th of July, and we're working on the location. It's not going to be at Morrow Jacob. It might be. I don't know yet. We're we're working on the permit, so I don't know. But I know one thing for sure: Mercy Centers will be there. Yes, so, sir. Uh, that's cool. They're very cool. Uh, and so we appreciate appreciate their support and appreciate you guys coming down from Salem and. Uh, have a safe trip, uh, and uh, I'll definitely, I keep promising and I keep forgetting, but this week I'll definitely call in. To, uh, they have a call-in show uh, up in Salem. It's 503-588-6444, 7 to 7.30, Friday.